Hello and welcome to the PeamCast, where we talk about progressing electronics and more. Um, today we will be talking Android versus Apple. Um, this has been a big topic in the past six hours, twelve hours, because a lot of people are wanting to switch over from Android to Apple because of the iPhone 5, and that is exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm switching from my Evo to an iPhone 5. I will be pre-ordering my iPhone 5, hopefully tomorrow, and um, getting it the 21st. So, I'm just going to kind of try and help you guys pick, um, if, you, if, if you want Android or if you want Apple for your next phone, or just if you want to know which one I think is better. So, obviously, Android is a lot more customizable. And a lot of Apple fans hate when people say that. They hate when um, they'll say that Android is a lot more customizable. But honestly, it's the truth. You can do whatever you want with Android. And they make it so that you can just go onto the market and download a theme um, and you can do really whatever you want. Like if I wanted it to be Dr. Pepper, which by the way, Dr. Pepper is awesome. If you find a cool picture of Dr. Pepper or whatnot, I will subscribe to you because I love Dr. Pepper. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you wanted your phone to be Dr. Pepper, I'm sure that there's a Dr. Pepper theme out there on the uh, on the uh, market. Um, and you can just download it and install it. And your phone will instantly look like a Dr. Pepper phone. So that's really cool. And but let's say you don't really ha you don't have a theme that you can download that will look like your personality. Well, you can root your device and make it look exactly how you want it to be, and that's actually legal now. They passed something, some law to where you can actually root it and it's legal. But there's another thing where Apple fans will say, "Well, we can do that too," but they have to jailbreak it. And jailbreaking that is also legal. They also the same law or document, whatever you want to call it, it said that Apple fan, Apple people with their iPhones, they can do it too, so can iPods. It is completely legal to jailbreak your phone or iPod, whatever. Um, so Apple fans and iPhone users, they will all say, well, we can do that too, we just have to jailbreak it. Even with jailbreaking, you don't get nearly the amount of customization you do with Android. But on the plus side, Apple, okay, hold on, I'm just going to go over Android first. On the minus side, Android, um, they, they tend to come out with phones like once a month, and you just can't keep up with it. It's a it's so hard to keep up with, and you never know what phone to choose. You're always thinking, well, this one could be better than this one, but I've always been recommended this one. And this one has a bigger screen, but this one has a nice camera. Well, that won't. that's never a problem with Apple. You always know that the latest uh, iPhone is always better. You always know that with Apple because they make one phone a year, and that's great. It is just awesome. You don't have to worry about... Um, like you don't have to worry about being behind in technology because with Apple they're usually always in front but they do tend to wait a little bit and then see what other people are doing and then install that into their technology but they still manage to get ahead of people and get more sales than any other phone now if you're trying to find it for your next phone if you're trying to get me to recommend you the next phone and um, you want Android Definitely go with the Samsung Galaxy uh, 3. That will definitely be your best choice. It is an extremely fast phone. It's a l very, very lightweight phone. It's got, a, it's got an alright battery. Um, it's great. It's got a nice processor, good camera, great camera, 8 megapixel camera. So that will be your definitely your best choice. Now, if you can't afford that, then... You can go down to like the, I'd say like the Evo, whatever the new Evo is. Um, there, that one's pretty good. It's a really nice phone. Um, so you can get that phone. 
and I can't remember what that's called. If you guys could comment below, I don't really have my fact sheet, I'm just kind of making this up as I go. Um, I know I've seen that phone a lot, but anyway, yeah, that phone, it'll probably be your next best choice is that Evo, but even if you can't afford that, then you might be looking at slide phones. Slide phones are great too. We're starting to get the 21st century is really starting to get out of this whole flip technology. We're starting to get more and more into all touch. You know, we we now have touch buttons, touch screen, and um, you know, touch everything. But we're getting out of the physical buttons. So slide out keyboards and flip phones; those are going to vanish eventually. Sorry about everybody who loves those. Well. With Apple, they just have one phone and it's great. Has a great processor. The new iPhone 5, that's the one I'm talking about. Um, it's got a great processor. It, you know, it's got a great 8 megapixel camera. Takes HD video. Um, it with their new Google Maps. I'm sorry, they're not even Google Maps. I guess they're just Apple Maps. Um, they're great. They're 3D maps. They're really really cool. So Apple definitely get the iPhone 5 but if you can't afford that don't go to the iPhone 4 get the iPhone 4s because the iPhone 4 is not worth it at all get the iPhone 4s it may cost you a little bit more but it's worth the money there's not much of a difference between like besides like Siri but the performance is where it's at you want it to be faster and the iPhone 4s is faster so if you are looking for a phone that is will not cost you thousands of dollars over just one year. Get the iPhone 4S if that's what you're looking for for Apple. But if you have the money, just get the 5 because that is that's a super phone. That's a great phone. But if you again, if you're looking for Android, get the Galaxy S3. So that is my take on Apple versus Android personally. I can't decide which I like more. I I don't know. It's really hard to choose. I don't know. I really don't. I just think Android puts out too much stuff, and it, you just lose track. But that's what I have to say about it. So make sure to go onto Twitter and follow me at LucasWillis23. That would be great. You get all kinds of tech news, and you get a little bit of my personal life, which is kind of weird, but... I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, that does it for today. Also, remember you guys can comment down below with what the next topic should be. And if I like it, I will subscribe to you. So, win-win situation there. <laughs> so make sure to comment below with what the next topic should be for the next PEMcast, which I will be making another one tomorrow, but I already know what it will be how out. You'll have to see it tomorrow. And I will see you guys later. So follow me on Twitter and keep track with the Peemcast, I guess. <laughs> see ya.